Welcome back to the Two Minute Warning. As you can see, the Raiders took away the W in Monday Night Football, 33-27. to And I gotta say, in my personal opinion, this is one of the, if not the best Monday Night Football games I've ever watched. I did not get the chance to catch the Rams and Chiefs football game on Monday Night for a few years ago. So from recent history, this is one of the best I've seen. And if you didn't hear about it or if you didn't watch it, I'll break it down in a second. But if you did watch it, I got to hear from you guys. Where do you rank this football game amongst Monday Night Games? Getting straight into it, though, like I said, just a brief overview of how this game went, in my opinion. Raiders and Ravens relatively were back and forth for the most of the game. Come fourth quarter, Ravens had a chance to really kind of control it, and then Lamar fumbled the ball, yada, yada, yada. Ravens still somehow recovered and still controlled the game. Justin Tucker put away the score, 27 to 24. Raider, or excuse me, Ravens are up 35 seconds left, up three before the end of regulation. However, Raiders are 35 seconds left. With two plays, got all the way into field goal range, put it away, and we are going to overtime. Raiders win the toss on offense, drive down the field a little bit, and all of a sudden, Derek Carr bombs it. Not to Henry Ruggs, the 4-2 speed out. Not to Darren Waller, top three tight in the league, who looks like the best tight in the league in this game. To Brian Edwards, the man who had all the hype in training camp, in he drives in to the end zone on a deep ball. Crab goes wild, players shaking hands, coaches talking it out. Then all of a sudden it's called back and Brian Edwards is short on the half a yard line. Raiders are a little disappointed but saying we're going to put it away easily. We're on the half a yard line. First play, run game, stuffed. Next play, there might have been two run plays in between and a pass in between. But come third down, or come second down, the Raiders call up false start and all of a sudden they lose their half a yard advantage and it's looking like a second and goal from the five from the six right around that range incomplete pass third and six third and goal third and five whatever you want to call it Derek Carr throws it to Willie Sneed he misses it it's tipped in the air intercepted by the Ravens Raiders no longer have the guaranteed touchdown they thought they had from Brian Edwards so it's just an absolute bomb and they no longer have the half a yard punch and put away score and the Ravens have a chance to win the game Ravens are trying to do it. Long story cut short, Lamar ends up funneling the football again. Hands the ball over to the Raiders in field goal position. Raiders are looking like they're going to kick a field goal. Eventually, they end up just throwing a deep ball and scoring. Raiders win the football game. I know that I'm not the greatest storyteller of that game, but trust me, the back and forth, the hypeness, the turnarounds, it was insane to watch, and it was a crazy game to watch. And let me make this disclaimer very clear. Personally, if you keep up with the channel, me and the Raiders fans have beef. We just see the team completely different this year. When I'm owning up to it, I called it wrong. I had the Ravens winning this game. I had the Ravens winning this game dominantly. But the Raiders proved me wrong. They looked good, and I called it wrong. But either way, this was such a close game. I feel like no team should really be talking crap. Both teams really had the chance to win it and lost it. And then it was just crazy. I feel like you, one team really can't say they kicked the other's ass. Looking at the box... Excuse me, the box score though. Derek Carr, 435 yards, 56 pass attempts. Derek Carr is good, but he doesn't put up 400 yards and 56 pass attempts on any given week. And granted, he had the extra quarter to do so, but still, that lets you know how big of a game this was as far as offensive firepower. Lamar, he did his job as usual, right around 200 passing yards, 86 on the ground. However, those two fumbles that you don't really see off the eye right now is what truly was the turning point for me in this game. And I do think, you know, I'm not trying to sell the Raiders short and say they got lucky, but given the factors of it being at home, Lamar fumbling the ball twice, the Ravens not having their second or third best corner, Marcus Peters or Jimmy Smith, the Raiders, Ravens, excuse me, losing an offensive lineman in the middle of the game, not having any of their top three starting backs, the Raiders were set up to win this football game. And the Raiders weren't perfect either. You know, Gerald McCoy got carted off. Um, Richie Incognito didn't play. Alex Leatherwood had the false start. You know, there were things against the Raiders as well, but I'm just saying these two teams weren't at 100% to say one is predominantly 100% better than the other, and it's not even close. Both of these teams kicked each other's butt, and it was a close game to the end. It was an absolute nail-biter, and while I, my take was wrong, I still would love to see these two teams rematch at 100% full health. Both guys really did their job. Darren Waller. Looked like Darren Waller. 10 catches, 105 yards, a touchdown. Brian Edwards lived up to the hype from training camp. Henry Renfro still remains underrated. Zay Jones had a small effect. Henry Ruggs had an impact. Sammy Watkins showed he still 
is somewhat week one. Sammy Watkins, Marquise Brown was there with his speed. Mark Andrews is a little quiet this game, but still there, still reliable when needed at times. He did have a drop in overtime that really could have helped out the Ravens. It is what it is at this point. Biggest takeaways. Hey, Lamar's got to fix the fumbling issue. Two fumbles that really could have helped out this team seal the deal. Another, Raiders could be a possible team in the making that makes a postseason run. I hate to say that now after week one. It's such a, such a small sample size, but... They are already looking better than projected, and a big reason is this defense. You know, I kind of roasted a little bit, but it is looking good. You know, Max Crosby, without him, the Raiders do not win this game. They do not. Max Crosby was a top five edge rusher this weekend, maybe top three, maybe top two, maybe top one. He had that type of impact. Seven tackles, two sacks, I believe. I think he had four quarterback hits, something along that stat line. He took off in... Yannick Ngakwe had his impact. Jerome McCoy, even though he got carted off, had an impact. Cage Wright had a fourth down stop. Denzel Perryman was very, very effective. That's a very good six-round pick that they got there. Jonathan Abram had some hard hits. They had Casey Hayward, Javon Morig. Raiders defense with Gus on in a new system and with Derek Carr on offense helped control the pace of the game at times. They looked a lot better than I projected them to be this year. And you guys warned me. Again, it's week one. I'm not going back on my take just yet saying they are a playoff team. But they are better than I expected. That is what I will say. <clears throat> I'm excited to see how both of these teams turn out. You know, Baltimore is still going to be electric. But this is a team that might not be in a race to win their division anymore. When you lose your second best corner and Jimmy Smith isn't, wasn't already there, you know, I expect them to be back. But still, when you lose your third best, when you don't have all your backfield, when you don't have one of your better receivers, you're hoping for a shot Bateman. Ravens all of a sudden might not be a playoff team anymore in the AFC. I still think they'll be electric and they'll be competitive. And even if they could have still won this game if Lamar didn't fumble twice, they'll still be in the running. But it does make things shaky and questionable for both teams, positive and negative, pros and cons. <clears throat> I'm excited to see how it goes. I'm excited to see how the Raiders do next week. I can't think of who they play next week off the top of my head. I could probably check real quick. And the Ravens next week, I know they play the Chiefs. They could very well start 0-2. Let's see if we can pull it up. Steelers next week. That will be a tough game to play, no doubt. <clears throat> we'll just have to see how it goes. Dolphins 2, Chargers 2. Raiders got a tough schedule, but they are on the come up, no doubt. You guys tell me what you think. The biggest takeaways, like I said, Lamar got to fix the fumbles. Raiders' defense is much improved. And their offense is something you do not want to underestimate. And again, just a crazy game. There's so many takeaways and reactions. This is more of a reaction video than takeaways at this point. But we'll just have to see how both of these teams end up. I'm looking forward to both of their futures in the rest of the season. You guys let me know what you think. And comment down below again, where do you rank this Monday night football game? As always, and of course, thank you for watching, guys. Tune in the morning.